Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24 Equation 1. And it is find the circumference of each circle, right? So we have to find the circumference of each circle. What is the circumference of a circle? It's pretty simple. Like in A, this is a square, rectangle, all these triangle, we have what? Perimeter, right? And for circles, we have circumference. Both of them are same thing. That is measure of the boundary, right? So suppose if this is the board, so the entire boundary will be the perimeter. But if we replace this with a circle, right? And suppose this is my circle and I count this part, the boundary of the circle, I measure this. So that length will be circumference. Now, how can we measure it? Because you see that circle is a rounded figure. So we cannot use a ruler onto it, right? So what we'll do is we will take a very fine uh, string or you can take a thread also, right? And we will put that thread around the circle. So once we have done that, we will measure the length of the thread, right? See, if I put thread here, then it should go all the way around and come till here. So it should start from one point and end at another, right? That point should be same, okay? And then once you are done, measure the length of that part of the string which is covering the circle, fine. And that is your circumference. Now friends, one thing we will observe here that if we have many circles, right? Many circular objects here, okay? This is another circle, fine. Let's say this many. So you will observe that circumference of all of these circles, right? This, 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 right? This and also the diameter of each of the circle, right? So in all the cases, we will get the same uh, value, right? See, if here we have circumference C, so C upon D, right? This here also circumference upon diameter, circumference upon diameter, circumference upon diameter. All of this should give you the same value, right? And what will that value be? In each case, we will get the value between 3.1 to 3.2, right? This will be the value that is the ratio between the circumference and diameter. So see here that uh, this ratio, right? This ratio, it's a uh, almost a value that comes in all the, all the circles, right? So what we basically do is that we have given it a name as a Greek letter pi, right? This is called what? Pi pi. And this is basically the uh, representing the value that we get as this C upon D, circumference upon diameter. So generally pi is 22 by 7. You can convert that into decimals, right? If you wish. So basically here, try to understand this. Uh, how are we going to find the circumference? Now come to the point. How will we find the circumference? Right. So see here that there is a way to find the circumference, right? So if I have circumference upon the diameter, fine. Okay. Um, circumference upon diameter and we know that value of this is the same in all the cases or roughly it is the same not exactly that is between 3.1 3.2 and that we have termed it as a greek letter what pi fine so this is what we have called it now in this also you can see if i do some transposition that is remove something here and there so can I find the formula for circumference? Yes. See that circumference. It is just like equation only, right? So circumference equals to and pi will keep it right. We'll keep the symbol and diameter. We'll move diameter. Diameter because uh, for finding circumference, in this side, we should just have circumference. Diameter is also there. Remove it, bring it to this side. Here it is dividing, here it will multiply. So pi into what? Diameter. So this means what? Uh, let me uh, just do this here. Fine. And one more thing we need to keep in mind is that diameter is double of what? Radius, right? Diameter. 
is double of radius so 2r right r is for radius so diameter equals to 2r same thing here now see here this is basically the formula for finding circumference multiply pi by diameter but to make it a bit more simple we can say that circumference equals to pi will be there replace diameter with the form of radius because most of the cases we will be getting radius and if we get diameter then you can use this so either you can say this or you can say into 2 r pi into 2 r so make it more simple that becomes circumference equals to 2 pi r simple right either we can use this way or this way according to our what the unit given diameter is given use the diameter radius is given use this one fine now let's find the circumference see here that in the first case what have we got the diameter so diameter is given 49 centimeters so uh, think yourself and say which uh, formula are we going to use and one more thing before moving forward you need to keep in mind that value of pi that is that greek letter this one right it can be in decimal or it can be in fraction okay but it's mostly given that in all the questions it's mostly given right either it can be decimal or fraction here we have to take the fractional value fine so let's move forward so diameter is 49 centimeters so we can use this way right and we can use this one also but this will what take us more time so why to waste time and energy just use this formula circumference equals to pi diameter right i'm writing it c and d because you already know c is circumference d is diameter and r is radius fine so circumference find the circumference pi will take as 22 by 7 and diameter into 49 okay cancel this cancel this one seven so this becomes four one five one fifty four and circumference the unit is centimeter cm fine this becomes our what circumference okay you can put it as your answer now second one okay the second one what have we got radius is 35 centimeters fine so 35 again radius is given so we'll use the other formula that c circumference equals to 2 pi r now put the values down 2 into pi 22 by 7 into radius 35 okay so cancel this cancel this okay this will be what um, now 5 into 2 10 okay and 10 into 22 220 centimeters okay this becomes the answer in the second part the circumference of the circle now so third one what have we got again radius is given so same thing circumference equals to 2 pi r so put the values 2 into 22 by 7 into radius 2.1 meters fine so 2.1 meters here now this will be what cancel this and cancel this one and this will become what zero point uh, uh zero and one so zero point three right this is what it will become and now 22 into zero two into zero point three let's do it so six okay and zero so zero point six into 22 that is what 12 and 1 132 and again point so 13.2 meters this becomes our answer in the third part now let's do it's a pretty simple one so why do waste time for it right again diameter is 9.8 meters this time we have got a diameter so use the other formula that was circumference equals to pi into diameters so this will be what 22 by 7 into diameter is 9.8 okay cancel this cancel this 1 1 point and 4 1.4 okay 1.4 into 22 will become what 
1.4 so what is that gonna give us let's see 4 8 and 8 again 88 and then 1 1 let's do the multiplication here so 1.4 30.8 right this becomes and put the unit meters this becomes the circumference fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye